And we're back. Welcome back to the weekend edition, everybody. I'm Cody, and I'm joined today by, of course, you know, Noel Miller. He's been on two of the weekend editions so far. And uh, my friend, Marcus Mulchaney. So this is who my fucking booking agent got for me today, unfortunately. <laughs> Discounted. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we... Uh, all on a budget. Yeah, we negotiated a nice rate. So Did you? Is she, is she paying you? Yeah, well, she's paying us. Well, uh, what, what money? I'm not making any money from this podcast I mean, yet. you know, it comes in... Cookies, beer, coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you didn't fucking show up with Chick Fil A. Uh, well, you know, I don't want to disrespect every every damn time. Mm-hmm. Every time, I swear to God, I invite Noel over this to is do per- something. Every time you come over to my place to do something, yeah. you show up 20 minutes late. Yep, with a bag of Chick Fil A. Yep, and then we got to stand there and watch it. Granted, I I do eat some. Yeah, you tax it. I, ta- I do tax. tax it. I do yeah. take a fry tax <laughs> yeah. every time. Um, we got to stand there. I'm gonna say some fries tax. Watching your fucking Chick Fil A. Yep. In the kitchen stinks up the whole place. Yes, it does. And you're the slowest eater in the goddamn world. Absolutely. So then it's just tax on another 20 minutes of you going. Ah, oh, sorry, man. I gotta get a. And it just gets everywhere. Yeah. And in between all that, I'm telling you a bunch of ideas, and in the back of your eye, you're like can you shut the fuck up with the sandwich so we can get to the thing? And I'm like, just hold on one more story. <laughs> In the back of my eye. Yeah. It's like, is that a phrase? Ba- no, it's not. <laughs> I meant to say back of your Minted. mind, but you know Today. what? I just woke up. Leave me alone. It's the weekend edition. This yes. is what it's all about. Yes. It's drinking beer, drinking coffee. Hey, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers guys. Is this, is this bad luck? Coffee. Cheers and coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it probably is. I love that mug. That mug is great. <laughs> Angie Tribeca, who no, got this? If I were on TV, I'd raise this to my lips whenever I make a point. Mm. Is that what it says yeah. on the back? Oh, oh that's yeah. so lame. Marcus loves mugs. <laughs> I actually No, do. you actually that's do. That's my stuff. 80% of the mugs in there, and we have a shit ton of mugs, yeah. are all from Marcus. And I appreciate the shit out of it. I was going to say, next time I see you using one, I'll let you know. I'm not <laughs> saying, no, I'm not making funny. I'm saying I love it. It's just funny how much you like mugs. I like a good like, mug. Remember, remember we bought that one? You bought that one? That says it was like something about how shitty Mondays are. It's like yeah. a sloth, but it came broken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Devastating. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in the vlog, right? We were all yeah. there. That was at work. Yeah, yeah it, it was we at were, work. We were back at work. I, I, th- I took it as a sign. Like, that's how shitty Mondays are, especially at a desk job, <laughs> that you would order a mug for Mondays and would show up. Broken. <laughs> like, yep. They saw the order and they just smashed it <laughs> yeah. and they put it in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> show you what Monday's really what? about, bitch. You can't get over Mondays with a cheeky mug. <laughs> You're going to have to go all the way through customer service for this one. <laughs> How bad do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guaranteed. Did, yep. it, did it arrive on a Monday? That would have been like... I think it did. 10 it out actually of 10. Did. I think it did. <laughs> no, it arrived on like a Friday night and I had to wait the rest of the weekend to get Even it on better. Monday. Yeah. Just rubbed it in. I still can't believe that we vlogged yeah three times a week yeah just shit we were doing at work i'll, I'll tell you it works a lot more boring now <laughs> is, is <Yeah>. it? <laughs> ain't nothing going on i mean what did we we really vlog like the morning lunch and afternoon yeah, yeah everything yeah and i guess noel will go we would go out and like do sketches that's sketches. right, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back hour and a half um you know I'm bringing it back, man. Yeah. I'm starting a third channel. I'm gonna. Oh do yeah. It. Yep. That's great. I'm gonna do it. I'm starting a third channel. I was gonna say you should because they were they were fun. Like mm-hmm. I liked fucking around. No, you should. Hire, oh yeah. Hire somebody to film it. Like don't do it yourself. Just have them here. Listen. Yeah. No, I totally agree. If you if you are an intern, <laughs> if you are an intern, <laughs> and you want to be another intern, I'm a car- I'm a career intern. <laughs> Just like an interny type person. <laughs> I've been an intern for 10 years. Um, you know, just really love what I do. Don't like money. <laughs> yeah, if you just if you just kind of see yourself as an intern and you want to be that for me mm-hmm. and you want to come over and film us being stupid like at least twice a week. Or, I don't know. I don't even know how, how would it work. That's going to get... Because I know Danny Duncan has a guy that I was talking to him about it. He has a guy that follows him around all the time. Let's yep. just try and that. films all of this shit. And it's mm-hmm. awesome. Yep. Yeah, let's it's try that. Fucking awesome. Okay, so we need a person that will spend 24 hours a day with us. <laughs> you can sleep here on the couch or actually yep. under the kitchen table. The rug here is much more comfortable. Yeah. Um, uh, it doesn't really sound that appealing. I'm not really selling this. It actually that well. really, it's a really comfy rug. It is a really comfy rug. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, I sleep on this. Yeah, exactly. Somebody you, did sleep on this for like a week. Somebody stayed in our apartment and chose not to sleep on the couch and slept and subbed here. under the table. That's so there proof. you go. That's proof. Validated. So you got a comfy ass rug here. Bam. You get to follow us around 24 hours a day, film us, and I'll give you 
I don't know, 30, 30% of the revenue on the channel. Is that, is <laughs> yeah, that good? That's fair. That's yeah. fair, right? 70, 30. That's yeah, great. 70, 30. That sounds good. And you got to edit the videos too. <laughs> oh, see, now, <laughs> now you're getting somewhere. You know, this is actually a serious inquiry though. If you are like a, if you are a person that wants to do this and you're cool and you want to hang out with us and you have the same type of humor, then hit me up because I actually want to start a third channel, bring the vlogs back in a big way, big way, in a big way. <laughs> what if they hit all things like uh, same type of humor, but just aren't cool? Then it's a no. Um, okay. So you have to be all three. 100% all yeah. three. How are you? Yeah. And you have to be hot. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, what if they're too cool and like edge one of us out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, oh my God. God. I never even thought of that. It starts You're getting like, sensitive. Like, hey, Noel, why don't you hold the camera? Like, <laughs> wait, 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 what do you mean? It's like, nah, I, I think uh, Jerry's going to take over this. He just goes, I got a funny bit, actually. I got a funny bit. I got a funny quip on this. Why don't you take over the camera? Oh, yeah. No, you should totally <laughs> do it. It's, it's, it's That'd be great. It sounds Noel, really funny. Noel, why don't you run sound? Oh, grab the boom. Okay. Yeah. No, no wrong. <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows. No. Nobody realizes you, you've disappeared from the vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, what? This guy's always been here, right? And I'll go on like fucking, I don't know, E in like 10 years and talk about how I was ousted out of the Cody vlogs. <laughs> I'll be fat as fuck. Nowhere in entertainment. Yeah, yeah I, I was on the vlogs, but no one remembers that. Not at all. <laughs> the host's like, oh yeah, you're that Asian-y kid, <laughs> yeah, dude, right? Whatever the fuck you are. <laughs> People are looking at old vlog footage. They're like, I, I really don't know who this guy is with the black hair. I've never seen him. He was just kind of around. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the vlog. <laughs> oh, he has a name? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> who would name that guy? You know, I actually thought about starting a second channel, too, because I don't want to put vloggy type shit on my channel. Oh, really? Yeah, but I'm not doing that. Yeah. Because my vlogs would just be me sitting at a computer. That's fu- Yeah. Yeah. Just put it on your main channel. Extremely People just want to see more shit from you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like crazy produced. And yeah. I know you're going to produce the shit out of it anyways, I'm, but wait, dude. even you looking, even just you talking to your camera looks better than anything I've ever produced <laughs> in my entire, did you see the, the last podcast, <laughs> yeah. the last podcast, seven minutes in the audio, like, I recorded it in like four separate uh, recording files because like Avi came back in the middle. So I had to like, I had to like stop and then he came in and then I re-recorded and then I didn't like what I said. So I re Jesus, damn. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so then I re-recorded again. And it, at the end, I had like six different recording files and like three different videos I had to sync up. And I accidentally deleted one of them. <laughs> so then I just used the audio from the camera. <laughs> so seven oh. minutes in, for seven minutes, it just switches to like this super echoey, like me talking this distance. <laughs> oh, no. People were like, oh, what my. the fuck happened to the audio? Why did it just take a shit in the middle of the podcast? And then it returns back to normal. That's so bootleg. Yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. This is what I'm saying. This is the type of producer I am. Yeah, but that's why you get that's why you get shit done. Me, I'd be like, oh, do we got to do it over. <laughs> the start whole over thing, the start beginning. over, start over from the beginning. Uh, do all those opinions again. That's great. <laughs> Same reactions. Same reactions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's redo all that banter. Didn't you just record a video and you were like, oh, I was so shitty. Yeah, I, like I tried to do a vlog thing and I looked at it. I was like, nah, this is going nowhere. Delete. Scrubbed it right there. Sometimes you got to do that, man. Yeah. Sometimes you got to do that. Fucking Jason told me that David and him record. The whole podcast, and then David will be like, "I don't like it," and then re-record it. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, man, he's committed. And I mean, like, <laughs> how does he have that time? Dude, they he, don't. Like, That's the thing. I don't right? know. Just hustle. Like, doesn't that dude vlog all the time? It sounds like a lot of his day is like covered. Yeah, in mm-hmm. film. Yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, they fucking shoot. Mm-hmm. That's sort of one of the re- things I realized about like why their vlogs are so good. I used to think like, oh, they're just like always. They're all so naturally funny all the time. No, no, they shoot. Mm-hmm. They're like, do you want to shoot? Yep. Let's shoot. Yep. And they. Go shoot. I think that's the only way you could get I all think that so, stuff. yeah. I mean, does, it's, it's great, though. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Does he have an editor? Does he somebody, no. like, sift through it? No. He does it. What? Yeah, you could tell, like, the touch is personal. Because the editor, I feel like, usually injects humor, or, like, they, they find ways to, like, mix it up. But, like, the timing and all that, like, someone was there. At least that's the feel I get from all the vlogs. So. Uh uh, tell us about your film. Oh yeah, <laughs> you want to just speaking of that? Pl- <laughs> I heard you're making a movie. Let's plug it. Let's plug Let's this plug shit. It, yeah. Because last time we talked about this, last time you were on the podcast, you were like, "I'm coming out with this film. Yeah. I'm going to make a short film. Coming out with my GoFundMe." And then like three days later, it came out, and now you've raised how much money? Uh, almost eight thousand dollars. Nice, eight thousand yeah. dollars. Wow. Eight K. Yeah, uh, and I just got. You know what say. you can do with that? 
You can yeah. almost make a short film with that money. Yeah, you could. You know what you can do with that? Abandon the project. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take that and go to Mexico. <laughs> that, buy a Subaru. I mean, there's plenty of things. Like, Subaru? <laughs> Why the fuck would you buy a Subaru? I saw that poll. <laughs> it's a very ver- reliable vehicle. Wait, what poll? <laughs> he, he had a Twitter poll yesterday about buying a Subaru. I was like, should I buy a Subaru? And the options were yes and yes, you fucking dad. <laughs> 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 I think you have to have four kids to buy a Subaru, minimum. Dude, Gideon has a Subaru. <laughs> well, Gideon's going to have four kids. I mean, that's just what's He might gonna, already, actually. Yeah. <laughs> No, um, yeah, Suki, man, we're two grand away. Uh, if you haven't donated, please go donate. Yeah, check it out. It's GoFundMe.com slash Suki, S-U-K-I dash film. Bang, there it is. And it'll be in the description, too. Yeah. $2,000 away from doing this film. Yep. And it's going to be, I mean, dude, you already raised eight grand. Yep, that's Pretty really nice. good. People and know this is going to be a f- smash hit, and it fucking better be. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. I mean. I gave you my goddamn money. It yeah, you be did. Good. You did. Dude, Chipped the thing that I was, like, fucking really surprised by that I seriously cannot stop, like, being like, whoa, is that people didn't, people threw in, you know, five, ten dollars, and that's fucking awesome because a, a lot of that grouped up and it like pushed it forward. But there were a lot of people that were just like, here's a hundred bucks, here's 150 bucks. Yeah. And they were like, you know, young people. I'm like, that's a lot of money when you're younger. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Like coming from? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's nuts. And like people were like, hey, man, I had some people were like, hey, this is the last of my bank account. Here's six dollars. I was like, you could have kept one. Like, <laughs> you, you could have gave me one, kept five, <laughs> got Jack in the Box. Like, that's fucking crazy. So, <laughs> Now I'm like, hey man, I'm homeless now, but I love your content. I love your so content, I'm gonna bro. Do whatever I can. I'm gonna post up in McDonald's with my fucking IBM laptop and watch this shit when it comes out. I'm homeless as fuck. Thanks, bro. Yeah. So um, we're gonna shoot. We had to put. We pushed the date uh, to like, like mid September. Okay. So sorry if I just ruined your Burning Man. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm not gonna go to fucking Burning Man anyways. You're not going. I no. I talked to Devin and we're like, let's sell our tickets. Huh. It's just too much. Like we got, like we got to plan it. It's you like a week go. straight, right? Or is it's, it more? It's than like a week? I think. It, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. My we're like so fucking out of the weeks. loop with this shit. We just like bought tickets and like talking to my friend. She was like, "You haven't done, you haven't planned anything." And we're like, "No." And she was like, uh. "You're gonna die." <laughs> <laughs> So we're like, okay, well, maybe we should because like show up with two bottles of water. You're like, we got it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> One bottle two of bottles water, a tank top. <laughs> What's it's up, going, guys? It's going to Burning Man, like like planning for the Armageddon. Like, do you have to bring like canned food? Yeah, water? yeah. No, it's like I, survival, man. It's like oh, that. Oh, now I get it. Yeah, See, that sounds gotta, fucking extreme. You got to do drugs and survive. Yeah, that's crazy. You got to bring. You got to bring like yeah. <laughs> water, <laughs> fucking food, ketamine. Yeah. Like a whole bunch of shit. All sorts of stuff. <laughs> that's like expert mode for sure. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, that's what it is. is there like an economy there? Do they take yeah. paper money? Mm. Uh, shit smash, smash record on the back. Are we done here too? No, nope, we're still rolling on this one. Great. Um, there's a snap. Uh, what was it? What were we just? Yeah, there's an economy. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Is that there's no money? Oh, there so is the whole, no money. No, there's no money. So the whole thing is you're supposed to. Everyone is supposed to offer something. What the fuck? To the community. So it's like, it, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. Someone will give you a fucking back scratch. To the community. To the commune. To the commune. To the commune. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you just get to live in a cult it's for a, like it's, a, a week. Yeah. And then they burn a giant uh, wood man. See, and I didn't understand the appeal. Now I know why people get their names changed and all kinds of crazy shit. Oh, it's nuts, dude. It's, yeah. like, a, it's like a straight up fucking cult in the middle of the desert for a week. It's cool. It's cool as fuck. Diet cult? That's great, dude. Diet cult. We should do that next year. But like take a different angle on it and kill ourselves no oh we be fucking a, be the burning man <laughs> be the burning man or we just take everything we show up like a pillaging unit like six <laughs> on a bus and we just fucking take everything oh my god that'd be insane let's start another burning man like right next to <laughs> oh, it and, and just war ra- and just raid them and oh war shit. start a war <laughs> send our burning man over <laughs> <laughs> That, that's fucking genius. Thanks, man. I, you know, I try. I'm so happy I came up with that idea. Oh, uh, uh, wait, hold on. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening already. <laughs> Where's our that. fucking intern? I'd rather he be here than you, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Burning Thanks. Man. Yeah. So we're like, we're not going to do it. We're not going to. And, you know, I've been fucking out of the country for like a month and a half of the last two months. Yeah. I'm just like, dude, I'm not ready to go to the fucking desert. And if you do one more cool thing in the yeah. desert for a week, if you do one more cool thing, I'm going to block you on Instagram <laughs> because it's the last thing I need to see when I'm at work. I know Marcus feels it. Last month was difficult. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? You're doing, you're off, you're off doing cool shit too. Like I went to Chicago last weekend with there you. There you go. Chicago. <laughs> I went to work every other day. Works. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Super dope. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely fun. Yeah, totally. Hey Cody, when's the last time you wrote code? Uh, no, no. You know what it? You know what it was? It was, um, 
Don't even say uh, that. It was, no. no was, it wasn't, wasn't it your Ty Lopez thing? <laughs> No, no, it was after that. I wrote the website for this podcast. Oh, oh. oh. I was giggling at your guys' podcast about like people getting into coding. Yeah. <laughs> just, I, I'm still dude, getting, yeah. I got a ton of DMs from that. Wait, by the way, Marcus, now that you're here, I hope you guys don't mind. I have some very intense JavaScript problems I'd like to work out right now, just you and me. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> I got them up on my phone here. Got your time. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, by the way, are the cookies still cooking? I think, I think they're ready, yeah. Are the, are the, are the are bakies, bakies still cooking? cooking? <laughs> are the bakies cooking? Marcus is making cookies right now, so bookies. we're recording this with just like the fucking aroma of fresh cookies. <clears throat> It's mm. amazing, isn't it? It is. Mm. Yeah. Mm. From scratch, Beer and cookies. <laughs> Corona and cookies don't really mix up. But cookie. Cheers. You can't cheers co- coffee. I, bro, I just said cokey. <laughs> Has anyone ever said cokey referring to coke? No. <laughs> like maybe cocaina? Yeah. Cokey? I just picture like some little goofy 18-year-old. You guys ain't got any cokey? <laughs> That's my name for it. <laughs> like she's crazy. I don't know. Oh, cringe. <laughs> I'm making up characters. Here Cringing. we go. Cringing. Speaking of characters, let's replug this movie. Um, yeah, yeah, so no. you're going to shoot mid-September. Going to shoot mid-September. Um, and honestly, because so many people were like down to get involved, we added scenes and like we completely expanded it. So it's going to feel like some Fargo shit with really like, a horror like like horror moments. And I'm like super pumped. That's awesome. Like, yeah. How yeah. much did you add to it? Um, a little bit. Really? Yeah. Like I'm going to spend some money to like get it there. Dope. Yeah. And I'm going to be in it, right? You are. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about? No, we can't talk about my cameo. No, no, I don't. That's I gonna don't, ruin it. I don't want any. He's told me. He's told me uh, what my cameo might be. Yeah, and I'm excited for it. Yes. And you guys are just gonna have to. I hate when people do that. Yeah, you're just gonna have to wait and see. You're gonna have to wait and see. But you're gonna have to wait and see. Yep. Ooh. Oh, look at these don't cookies. Touch them. Don't touch them yet. They're super hot. You're just gonna lay them in front of me and expect me not to fucking just touch let them. them. Chill. For all the listeners, I want you to observe how different Cody will be from this point forward. <laughs> that he cannot eat the cookie. <laughs> all right. Did you hear foam in his teeth? <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> just watch his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, observe his pupils dilating right now. You're just you're just gonna be it's gonna be Marcus and, and Noel going over JavaScript yep. problems and just mouth noises yeah. from me. Just <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Dude, I, I, just, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they smell so good. Yeah, they do. Fuck. These are these are double chocolates. Delicious. No. Double chocolate cookies. Double chocolate cookies. Mm. Oh, cheers to that. Bro. There's, there's more to it, but there's cheers double to that. chocolate. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Not cheers. cheers. No. Yeah. 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 It's bad luck. Mm. Yeah. Coffee and beer has got to be bad. Mm-hmm. Dude, I love the Suki trailer. Mm. So, was that a Thank scene you. from the. Oh my movie? God. Are we plugging yeah. your fucking film again? Sorry. Yes. Yeah. No, no, go it. for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you loved it. Appreciate it. It was amazing. I showed it to my parents and they were like, holy shit. Wow. This looks, 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 this looks awesome. Great. Yeah. No, that. Um, I will say that, that that is the opening. Those are the opening shots. Cool. They'll be different in the final, but yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great shot. Thank you, man. You're going to be in the opening shot too? Oh, Boo. No. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That first version, though. What? I just want everyone to know that Cody fucking, barring from H3 here, daddied up. Oh, yeah. He gave me the dad speak. Oh, yeah, yeah. On the first version. Yeah. Like, Being a little bitch. Yeah, he shot it and then he sent it to me and I was like, dude, this, I didn't say it sucked, but I was like, what, like, what is the point no, of this? I yeah, I was, I was being all. a little like, like, like meek about it. I was like, oh, I want to make a movie, you know? Yeah, it was all like, eh, I want to make a movie. I was like, no, own that shit, yeah. dog. You make better shit than anyone I've ever met. Dang. Appreciate that, bro. He's being a bitch. <laughs> nah, whatever one I saw was good. Thank you, man. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it actually, it was good because it just forced me. Because I think that's the whole reason I don't like post a lot of shit is when the fucking camera's pointed at me, I like seize up. I don't know why. No, you don't. No, in, in like a... If I'm just alone, it's easy if like my friends are there, if I'm like oh yeah character. But if I, it's just me in front of the camera, I'm just like uh, mm, No, no, hey. me too, me too. Yeah. Me too. Cause you can't get over how stupid you know you look. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. even even like vlog like vlogging, like pointing the camera at you, it's the exact same shit. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. It's just like it's stupid while you're doing it. The mm-hmm. only time it's not stupid is after when you see the footage. Yep. That's when it becomes normal. Yep. But while you're doing it, it's the most unnatural thing ever. Yep. Like you should part. never be talking just to a camera. Like, it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. That's so noticeable when you see people around here, like, walking, holding this thing, like, yep. way out. I hate front. it. Yep. I hate it so much. The gimbal thing. I fucking thing. hate <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till, like, like vlogging, The it becomes, like, a market that just keeps evolving, and then you're just going to see people walking around with, like, videographers and, like, shit on, like, three-axis gimbals, and, like, all right, let's reset on that. And yeah, like a just, 360 camera, yeah. like, around their face. It's going to be drones around them. <laughs> Just <laughs> following them as they, they fucking go into studio. What's up, guys? <laughs> we're here with the 14 angle vlog here, and we're going to get some fucking cookies. Let's do this. <laughs> fucking shot of the city, shot of you. I almost walking. died. <laughs> oh my god, dude, vlogs are so bad. 
Oh, there's the they're the worst content on yep. YouTube, I think. I dude, I besides I, obviously besides the good the good vlogs. Yep, yep. Besides the good vlogs, and we all know the, who the good vlogs yep. are. But like I follow a couple girls just because they're hot on YouTube. Mm, here we and go. And like like, oh man, I don't I mean I don't want to fucking call them out right now, but it's just like like gym vlog. Yeah. Uh, what are you really doing? I know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I know what a gym looks like. I know what it looks like to go to a gym. I know what girls look like when they go to the gym. I know mm -hmm. what exercises you're you know what I mean? Yep. What, why is it, what in your mind is like, this is content that people need to see? Dude. That's the problem with YouTube is people just put out boring shit all the time. And it's yeah, like, I agree. You got to make entertaining shit. I agree. I, I think even like, you know, the, even when we would like vlog at work, there are totally times where we're like, we do shit and we totally scrap it, but we dedicate like a lunch to like yeah. some goofy idea. Yeah. And then you cut it, you'd be like, eh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like you need to have that level of scrutiny when yeah. like you're making a vlog. Fucking, I saw someone's vlog, like a small channel, you know me, I just creep the internet. Um, the hallmark to me of a terrible vlog <laughs> is when the camera is pointed at someone and they're talking about what they're gonna do and where they are. Yeah. It's like, it's a video, just show it. You don't have to say <laughs> anything. Everyone's like, so I'm in my car. We know that, you're sitting <laughs> in it. And I'm gonna go get coffee. Just take cut to the coffee. Just show what the coffee looks like. That's fucking awesome. And then you're like, I'm in the city. The city is beautiful. <laughs> Point your camera at it, you dummy. Put your fucking camera on it. We didn't click. That's the point of a fucking vlog, to use video. So when it's like 20 minutes of someone just like, yeah, and then I fucking in that, and then I fucking in that. I just, and I'm about to go do this, this, and then we're gonna go hang out with that. It's it, like, well, I'm, I bet we're gonna find out who you're gonna hang out yeah. with. We're probably gonna see <laughs> it. Yeah, they're gonna come in the front. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So, no, I agree. Not yeah, <laughs> and not to say what. <laughs> this is funny that we're like scrutinizing, um, like because I feel like it's kind of vain, oh, right? To totally. For people to be like, I'm interesting enough for me to to, to yes. like go get coffee, and people will want to watch <laughs> that. And we say that as we're recording yeah. a fucking yeah. podcast, yeah. yeah, two cameras, which yeah. is the right vainest thing mm -hmm. ever. Two cameras pointed mm -hmm. right at us. Yeah, just having an hour long conversation about cookies <laughs> and we're like, people are gonna wanna watch this, this shit. <laughs> this is the good shit. So I'm not right talking about gym vlogs. Cookies. Gym vlogs? No, thank you. Cookie podcast? I'll take one, please. <laughs> yes, I wasn't that all goddamn day. <laughs> um, so we're about to eat some cookies <laughs> and then have some coffee <laughs> and then we're gonna drink some beer and we're gonna cheers some more. We're here in Venice. It's cheers, Marcus, cool. not you. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. The apartment is beautiful. <laughs> the apartment's beautiful. I wish you could see it. Cheers, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, always. <laughs> Yo, dude, my Uber's here. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. Are you? Yeah, it's oh, good to see you. Good damn see it, bro. Yeah, it's been a minute, but it's good yes. to catch up. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> I we thought you were really leaving. We were, we, <laughs> we were doing this fucking joke in San Diego. This our friend named Ben. We were on a we were on a we were on a boat, a yacht. Awesome. Like out on Lake Michigan, like having a great time. Yeah. And uh, we're, everyone's partying. Everyone's having a great time. All of a sudden he goes, yo, guys, my Uber's here. I got a jet. <laughs> <laughs> and every single person he did that to was like, oh, no way. And then we're like, wait, what? An Uber? <laughs> An Uber? <laughs> we were in the middle of the fucking lake. By the time you were thinking that, he was like gone. <laughs> 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 so good. It's so good. That's so so then, so then, and this is like not even going to make sense at all. But then we just like, we started saying it back at the apartment oh, which yeah. like did it like it was it it's totally ruined the joke but it became so fucking funny because of how not funny it was yeah and then we started dismissing each other you're like yo you said you had to go right like isn't your uber oh here? that's great oh yeah totally <laughs> it was so good we, we did this for three hours just <laughs> laughing our ass off <laughs> so anyways guys i gotta bounce <laughs> yeah probably you guys you guys got it from here right yeah, yeah. We got it. it's totally cool <laughs> Uh, should we talk about uh, cryptocurrency a little bit? Because I just okay. went in last week. I bought four hundred dollars worth of Litecoins. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. LTC, I mean, you're, baby. You're like LTC, right? LTC. Yeah. 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 You made like a great call on Bitcoin, didn't you? Yeah, I bought Bitcoin fucking five years ago. Did I say this last time we talked about cryptocurrency? No. So when we the last time we talked about it, when you were talking about all your miners and all that mm -hmm. stuff, right? I it was like, I was like, I think I have some. I used yeah. to have oh, yeah. some. Yeah. So I like tried to sign into my Coinbase account, couldn't get in because of like the two-factor authentication, whatever. So I was like, whatever. I probably don't have any. Fuck it. I'm just not going <clears> to <throat> worry about it. And then fast forward like a week and a half. And I was like, wait, maybe I did two-factor th two authentication with my Google voice number, not with my phone number. Ah. And so I tried it. It worked. I logged in and I had 0 0.7 Bitcoin, which Boom. I bought for a, about for $70, I'm pretty sure. Perfect. And now it's worth... Almost three grand. Yep. Here, this camera's no. recording. Oh, can you smash that record on that one? 
uh, yeah. it's worth almost three thousand dollars. More than that today. It's yep. like three thousand three hundred today. <laughs> yep. What? Yeah, it's up. And up. because of the split, you got the other set of coins that you can't use for like a year or something like that. But that went up to like six hundred bucks. Yeah. It's down a little bit now, but like you just made money out of nothing. I'm I'm skeptical about that one, but yeah, well, no. Bitcoin Cash or whatever. Bitcoin yeah. Cash, yeah. yeah. Remember that fucking Chinese mining organization. I, um, what do you have against Chinese mining or organizations? Uh, I mean, it's it's the fucking CEO. Like, oh, I, okay. I I could be wrong about this. I'm not totally educated on this, but I believe it's this CEO who was running a mining outfit, and he was trying to like the type of security he was going for. You know, it's like slower transaction times. It benefits okay. miners. Okay. So I think he started Bitcoin Cash, and you know, it's like a little bit of a. Uh, it's like a, I don't know, what was the phrase I'm looking for? A fucking conflict of interest. Okay. Yeah, very you know? self-serving. Yeah, like he he's mining, but he's also starting this own coin. And like people were saying like the nodes for the coin were spun up on like AWS like two weeks ago. Oh. Like, yeah, very, very sketchy stuff. Huh. Jesus. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm glad I stuck with the fucking, mm-hmm. with the real one. I'm pissed when it hit 1900 a few weeks ago. I was going to reload, but I just like got busy. Do you busy. have some? Yeah. Um, you do? Alina and I have 0. 0.4. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so Good we stuff. went a little bit. Yeah. When did you buy it? Um, we bought a little high, so we're okay. not totally up, but we, I mean, we made some money. Huh? Yeah. I don't know why I bought Litecoin. I was just like, it's the cheapest one and they all have the same fucking graph. So I was yeah. like, all yeah. Right. yeah, I mean, maybe in like two years that'll go up. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like, it, it, if it goes up the same percentage, then I'm going to make 10 grand or whatever the fuck. It, yeah. d- it, it will. Uh, my opinion on cryptocurrencies is like, no one really knows how this stuff works. I There's know, the right? That make them that get it. Yep. And then everyone else from that point down to us is like speculating. It's so funny. Like Mm -hmm. it's so, it's so like hot right now. Yeah. Like everyone, like we were in a coffee shop or whatever. And we were discussing (laughs) like the fact that I had some Bitcoin that I bought five years ago that I first got into this shit. And, and this guy turns around, this guy like that looked like blaze turned around was wearing a tank top, (laughs) sunglasses and a snapback. He turned around and he goes, yo, you talking about cryptocurrency? Oh fuck. And I was like, yeah. yeah, and he was like, "Yo, that's the shit, dude. I've been reading all about that." And I was like, "Oh, God I bet, I bet you have, bro." <laughs> Tell me reading more. some Wall Street Journal articles on, on yeah, Bitcoin. I'm sure you are. Yeah, bro. it's like a digital thing, right? You can like, uh, <sighs> yeah. Yep, that's it. Yep. That's yep. it. You yep. got it. Yep. And that's not even like I know nothing about it. Yeah. This guy knows nothing about it because I know nothing. I don't know anything about this. This is what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just fucking buying the shit. I've tried Why to dive. Not? I think, um, I think the big thing is the the technology, the yeah. blockchain. Yeah, I think that. I think the right, word. yeah, totally. sure. right. The blockchain, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I have yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We all <laughs> got some blockchains. Yeah. Should I not do this? Am I am I being the fucking the guy right now? No, well, go, go mm, ahead. Mm, actually, <laughs> well, yes and no. You see. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, that is every programmer ever. <laughs> well, yes, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. One or the other. It's a perfect both. way to answer any question. <laughs> not well. Both. You know, it depends. It depends. Um, <clears throat> they just repeat back what you said. Yeah. <laughs> so one approach is what you're talking about, everything you just said. <laughs> but what I would do is... <laughs> <laughs> just fucking word vomit. <laughs> and then by the end of it, you're like, all right. My face hurts. <laughs> really glad we could talk about how to change a color on this text, man. I really appreciate that. When I, when I was a kid and I would ask my dad for like help with my math homework, he would show me like 16 different ways to do it. And that's exactly what it's like when you ask a programmer. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, you could do it the easy way like you want to do. Or, yeah, or, or an hour later. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's yeah. actually three better options. I'll, I'll go through each and you can decide which is best. And you find yourself for an hour just going like this. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, right. Blockchains, right. Ah, uh, yeah, it totally makes sense. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, cool. You're still going. All right, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hang all right, well, yeah. Yes get a, and no. Yes get a pencil. And no. <laughs> I guess you could do it like that, but you could also. <laughs> <laughs> they just told you how to do it in Python, C++, yeah. C Sharp. Actually, here we're going to hop out of JavaScript into machine learning. <laughs> oh, okay. Get down to the Why am I code. doing this in Go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who doesn't know what these are are just like, what are they talking <laughs> about? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, it's Here's a, how to do it in Scala. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for, just so everyone knows, there are niche languages in programming that if someone mentions them, you know you're in for some shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind of like someone bringing up like, oh, dude, have you heard of this fucking, this like scientific version of ketamine? You're like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> you're about to get a lecture. No, when you know it's coming on with programmers, it's like this Blaze dude, when he whipped around, it's like, dude, when it, when it happens with the programmer, they do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
they like push their chair back, <laughs> take their headphones off, and you're just like, no. uh, oh no, 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 oh no. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> and they haven't turned around yet. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> their fucking swivel chair. Well, actually, I'm oh gonna god, die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Holy shit. Everyone who didn't see that, Marcus just pretended to take his headphones off and push his chair back. That's the worst. <laughs> you send a programmer a question on fucking Slack. Oh, my God. You send it to him on Slack, and you look over. You ever do that? I send the question, and I look at their reaction. And I'm like, please, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> the headphones come off. I'm like, shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. It's like fucking. Here we go. If, if I could hear that Jaws music when a programmer's coming to my desk, like, bum, <laughs> bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, heard you had a question. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you know what? Actually, all good. Just just, just solved it. Yo, so fuck, just wrap uh, it up. Fuck me, right? We're just going to crash the whole thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Shipped it the way it was. So. <laughs> just, mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna just hear like the deep trance, like blasting <laughs> from the. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is it? The programmers? You ever typed in <laughs> hacking music on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, that it's shit just trance kills me. It's that, trance, or just like weird, like fucking trip hop, like. <laughs> <laughs> Base, man. It's just so fucking like, why? Who is doing that? It creeps me out. Dude, I've coded to trance before. I mean, trance is different. Trance like puts you in the zone because it's like fast. Yeah, you're like, yeah, just writing code faster than you've ever written anything. Do you listen to like to the anime trance where it has like the girl? It's like, like singing hard style, hard style. I couldn't imagine that. I can't work to that stuff. No. I'm like not productive at all with that. I can, no, like I can work to trance because it's no lyrics. Like it's just like, oh yeah, you know, you can like kind of like <laughs> mel- or like just get in a, tr- a, a trance. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. let's try these cookies. Yeah, I was just about to say, are these up for grabs <laughs> now? Let's do it. What is the fucking deal? I'm grabbing um, the biggest one. Let's see. Uh, 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 they warm. Oh my god. Oh, sweet lord. <laughs> Whoever's listening to this oh. on their morning commute is like, fuck you guys. <laughs> I just brushed my teeth. This is the most not texture I want to hear. Mm. Everybody on a diet right now, give it up. <laughs> okay, these end are it. great. <laughs> just end it. Buy these cookies. What are they? Double chocolate? Mm-hmm. Double chocolate. Sponsor mm. us. Yeah. Double chocolate cookies. I think I'm going to start. I think I'm going to get to start reading ads soon. I think. That'd be dope. <laughs> how's, so, it, how's it work? Do you pick things you're interested in or just ads come to you? No, I think they got to sell. I think they got to sell ads. Yeah. They got to like pitch my podcast to the companies and be like, do you want this person to read your ad? And then they're going to watch it and go, hell no. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. You I'm know, just hoping to God MeUndies watches this. I'm wearing them right now, MeUndies. I'm wearing your fucking thing. He is. <laughs> I'm doing an ad for you right now for free. <laughs> There's a brand manager looking at this like, mm, said fucking, nope, that's a, mm, yeah. I'm sorry. All right, so you said fuck 478 times in this Can, podcast. Cannot send the cook, uh, the underwear at the cookie as well. <laughs> so you were my brand. <laughs> we <know>. yeah. <laughs> so um, the blockchain. No, you know what we should talk about? <laughs> what the fuck are we going to do for our show? Mm. Oh, yeah, our live show? So we have a live show. Noel and I have a live show coming up in... Uh, in September, probably. We haven't actually set the date just yet because my agents are like, all right, we'll figure out what you want to do and we'll set the date. Mm-hmm. So we got to figure out what the fuck we're going to do. Should we brainstorm something? Yeah. I mean, I was thinking a live comedy set, but like with a theme. Yeah. I mean, like if there's a way we could like write material for this show or something that maybe is like takes insanely chill and like makes it live. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Mm hmm. Because we could do a live podcast. Mm-hmm. People do that all the time. That could be interesting. Mm. But yeah. I think it, I think it would be better as like a show. Not where we're just like sitting up there Bantering. talking to each other. Like it's like something we, like we plan out before like where we like roast each other or something. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Like maybe we like we have other comics on and then we each do a set. Yeah. And then we do like a combined set or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, I have to. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Go ahead. Well, what do you mean a combined set? Like you both. No, like we're all up there like. Like, like Marcus, you're up stuff. there too with us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've always I don't know about that. I've always said I wanted fucking for like Marcus's birthday. I want to just put a blindfold on him and some noise canceling headphones, and then just 
put a piece of paper in his hand and deposit him at like the comedy store in the main room at like seven o'clock. Oh my God. I would shit myself. And then just run up and pull off the headphones and undo the bandana and then just run back and he's just standing all the way at the front. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> How do you guys feel about black people? Oh no, 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 no. Just like the most uncomfortable set. Period. Dude, I, so I, I went on Saturday and like the, the opener, it was just rough. Like her, I guess her job was just to like warm up the crowd and get everybody like yeah. drinking and talking yeah. or whatever. And it was like, she was sticking to her set, but oh, she no. was kind of bombing. And yeah. like, uh, what you bombing? I, it wasn't hitting too hard, <laughs> but like, I feel like most people would, that would like deviate them a little bit from what they were doing, but she yep. was just powering right through, got to the end and got the next True person. Time. You have no choice. Yeah. Yeah. When you're up there, you have no choice but to keep going. Well, if, if you're doing it's a, the only option, if you're doing a cold open, like, in my opinion, cold open, you got to do like five minutes of crowd work. Like you have to make everyone feel insecure or like get them to open up. Yeah. Because because when, when the crowd's cold, like they feel like they can judge you. Mm -hmm. So you got to make them feel like, yeah, your fucking haircut sucks. You fucking wore that stupid ass T-shirt. You're not getting fucking laid tonight. Everyone's like, oh, damn it. And then they have to laugh at themselves. <laughs> uh, and then he's, he's right. God yeah. Then you can talk about you. Yeah. That fucking that I mean, we talked about it. That last show I did was like that. I got up there at a cold open because our host didn't show up. Oh, Oof. was Oof. it bad? Uh, dude. Wait, I thought we talked about this. On the podcast, or not like in real life, not in the podcast. Oh, not on the podcast. Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't well, think so. What was uh, the, what, what happened? Basically, this, there's like this back row of like these hicks from like Victorville, which is like, you know, a desert city, everyone, if you're not from California. Okay. And then, so it was like a, a bunch of people came to support someone in the show. But I got up there and like, I brought a few people, but no one knew who the fuck I was. So they're just like, mm. So I started doing material and it like wasn't hitting. So I just turned and just started like pretty much like roasting everybody. <laughs> and like, that's the only way I got them laughing. Really? Yeah. Like some, like some lady, I said something about uh, men. She was like, I don't need one. And I was like, oh, you hear that? And then I was like, like, how do you really feel? Like, let's talk about it. And then she said something. She's like, you want to find out? I was like, nah, I'm good. I don't need crazy. <laughs> and then everyone starts giggling. I'm like, if anyone wants to put their dick in crazy tonight, it's right there. It's oh looking right God. at you. Oh, my God. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, I mean, people went for it. It was, it was pretty funny. So, Damn. Some of the comics were, like, saying some, like, really racist stuff to people. Of course. And, like, I was just waiting for somebody to, like, stand up and, like, get on stage and <laughs> knock them out or something. Oh, really? He was... <laughs> Who? I, I, can you like bite? Can I like say what he said? Is that like biting people's no. content? Oh, smash that. Smash that like. Um, I mean, no, uh, no, you can. No, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you, he, he was making a lot of jokes about Mexicans very specifically. And like he picked out three people and like they were the only people that raised their hands when he said they were Mexican. Uh, and he just drove on them for a second. Yeah. And I was like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got spread it around the room. I don't know. It's tough, dude. It, oh, dude. You gotta spread the racism around the room. Yeah, you gotta spread the racism around the room. You gotta hurt everybody. You can't just. That's the way to do it. You gotta make it fair. Crowd work. I don't know how people do fucking crowd work, man. It's, I mean. It's uh, tough, but I think like you just do it a few times and then like you just. And I also think like if you have like a set. No, the true, the true crowd work is like being able to actually like uh, 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 make jokes on what they say. Yeah. You know? Yep. Because yep. I've been thinking like, I, I, I've been thinking of like a few like. I guess I like canned responses that like no matter what they say, I have a funny follow up. Yeah, of like, course. Right. Uh huh. Um, but a person that's like Crystal Lee that's able to just get up, get up there and just like riff off what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, yep. It's yep. like that's like actual crowd work. Yep. Or like you know you know what to me is like as a comedian when I see I, I I even hesitate to say that but like when I see comedians like doing crowd work and then I can tell they're setting up to weave that crowd work into their material, I feel like. When you're like when you've performed comedy on stage and you can see it happening, that to me on my inside, I'm always like, oh god, man, don't do it. It's like, oh yeah, you're fucking, you're fat. Let me tell you about being fat. It's <laughs> like that was so not natural. Except it, every, it, you're the only person that could tell, probably. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway, did we have focus on this camera um, before we started? Uh, maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> you want me to check? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's just like this is what I mean. I'm just so bad at this fucking producing shit. It's all right. Is this one camera is gonna be so clear? The other one's gonna be super blurry. This is the bleary eyed edition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Saturday morning. That's yeah. what Saturday it's the weekend morning. edition, baby. Yeah. We're all a little bit hungover. I am at least. Cheers. Tiny bit. I fucking. This was my. This was supposed. No, I'm not doing you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. My Uber's here. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. It's good it's seeing you. Really good to Marcus, see you. Dude. Good oh, seeing you. All right. Cool. Up. Uh, see you. <clears throat> um, this was supposed to be my first beer in six days, and oh. I ended up. I ended up. I, I detoxed when I was in Whitefish. Wow. Yeah. Straight up, didn't have anything. What was that like? What was the first few days like? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, really? Wonderful. No shakes? No, no shakes. <laughs> I don't drink that much. I don't drink that much. 
It just, you know, coming off a big weekend. Yeah. You know, it was like a flu. A, and it's just like a little bit stressful going back to fucking LAX because it's the worst goddamn airport. It really is. On earth. Yeah, it it really, it really fucking is. Yeah. Start to finish. It fucking blows. I've flown, because I've now I've flown into LAX so much in the past like two months. Mm-hmm. I keep seeing the same shit, the same problems happen over and over again. Mm-hmm. Like I, we landed yesterday. The flight was kind of fine, but we landed. We taxied forever to get to Terminal 6 because it's so far away. The guy couldn't work the jet bridge again. The same shit happened on my flight from Barcelona a month and a half ago. We're just sitting on the flight, and we're like, why isn't anyone getting off? And they're like, sorry, we can't open the door. There's no one to drive the jet bridge. Like, just get a jet bridge guy. Just get a guy to do the jet bridge. Why isn't there a jet bridge guy? You should have a jet bridge guy at every fucking gate. There shouldn't be a shared jet bridge guy that just fucking... Hey, where's where's the jet bridge guy? Where's <clears throat> this is the whitest you've ever sounded? <laughs> it's fucking annoying, man. When I land, I want to get off the damn plane. Can I want to speak to your jet bridge manager. Yeah. <laughs> How do you not have a jet bridge guy? Sorry, fucking short on jet bridge guys. Yeah. He's driving the jet bridge over the other thing. A, <laughs> no, it's true. Because every jet bridge should have a fucking guy. You know what LAX is like? It's like going to fucking Walmart. Three employees to run the entire fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. There's always something. You know what was fucking dumb when Alina and I came back from Thailand? We landed early. 30 minutes early. We're like, fuck yeah, we're early. This is great. We're going to enjoy the day. They're like, oh, the international terminals don't open till 11. Sorry. We just had to wait for oh. people to clock in. What? It was like Saturday morning. Like, Fuck that, dude. You, like, should, you guys should be starting at 9. What do you <clears throat> do? You just sit there. You check papers. Like, why? Do you, what do you need that extra fucking I, sleep I for? It's so La- annoying. Landing early is actually never a good thing. No, it's you not. You always just end up sitting there. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's figuring out where the jet ridge dude is. Yep. <laughs> like, I'd honestly rather be in the air than just sitting, like, so close to the airport. It's like, yeah. I fucking taste it. I'm just going to taste freedom. Yeah. I'm there. I can see it. But there's nobody to drive the fucking jet bridge. <laughs> Did you hear what happened? I forget what airport it was, but two air... Uh, airlines like stayed too long on the runway and like one lost power and it was like super hot inside and they called like passengers called 911 to bring it to the air, air like the plane and that's how they got off because it was like an emergency and they like opened the doors and got them off wow so just next time call 911 on yourself I'm gonna do that get, yeah. <laughs> next time they don't have a fucking so jet bridge guy at LAX I'm calling 911 <laughs> They're like, oh shit, someone's stuck in an airplane. Yeah. We gotta get him, we gotta get him. Go, 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 go. What's your emergency? I'm in an airplane. Hi, I'm in LA- LAX and there's no jet bridge guy. And they're like, oh, sir, we get this a lot. They're, we're dispatching <laughs> fire trucks now. <laughs> all, you to, all you have to say is we're at LAX. We will get you off that plane, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, at, yeah, I'm at LAX. I'm okay, at LA- we're dispatching police cars. We're on our right way. Now. We're on our way. <laughs> Send 45,000 units over to LAX. We got a call. (laughs) (laughs) Choppers. Get, let them out of the plane, you fucking assholes. Why don't you have a jet bridge guy? Everyone at LAX is like, you'll never take them. It's gotta be easy to drive a jet bridge. Just fucking drive it. Have you seen the controls? It's one joystick. Yeah, it's one fucking thing. (laughs) Put it at the plane. Open the fucking door. Just try it. Let me get off. Use your intuition. (laughs) Try it. All the controls. Somebody. Somebody. (laughs) All the controls at a fucking, at airports, like for anything, just looks like like an arcade. There's a joystick and two buttons. (laughs) 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 Fucking left down, right up. Strong punch, strong kick. Get it the fuck in there. There's a quarter slot. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Dude, another thing is, it's funny, like, the, the uh, I guess, like, balance between, like, what TSA, it's like, is it a customer service job, or is it not? It, like, I know, like, their job is to keep us safe, but they're also, like, client-facing. Like, you have to, like, some people are, like, I couldn't fucking believe it. I went through, um, on the way to Kalispell or whatever, I, the, no line for security, so I was, like, sick. Well, there was, like, four security, like, lines or yeah. whatever. Very short lines for each of them. I got on the third one. And I was like, just hope, praying that this would be the right one. You know, the other ones had like babies in them and shit. <laughs> yep. So I was like, all right, this one is like single people. I'm going to go in this one. Me and this guy, we were the last ones to go through. They closed it behind us. And so, and then, so basically the guy checking my bag saw something in my bag that he wanted to check. So it, he like dispatched my bag into bag check or whatever. And then they closed the lane and everyone left. So I'm standing there for 20 minutes. <laughs> Me and this guy are standing there like... Can we get someone to check our bag? And this guy's like, sir, we are trying our best. And then and then I'm like, okay, fine. So we wait for another five minutes. And we're like, yo, we've been waiting here for 20 minutes. Like, someone needs to come check our bags. He's like, fine, I'll fucking do it. And I'm like, okay, so that's trying your best. Yeah. Before you were not trying your best. If you could just do it, you should have just fucking done it. 
What do you mean trying your fucking best? No, you're not. There's always one that's like managing them, like pacing around yep. with his hands behind yeah, his yeah, back, yeah, just yeah. repeating the rules. Yeah. Yeah. Record it one time, play yeah. it, yeah. you're done. <laughs> and he's such an asshole about it. Shoes off! <laughs> I just clipped the shit out of him. Yeah, like, yeah, hands behind his back. Shoes off, everybody! It's like, I know, dude, everyone here has been on an airplane before. We know how to fucking do this. <laughs> he goes to, Is there water in your bag? <laughs> he goes to every single person. Why would there be water in my bag? If I had water, it would be in my hand. Hand, I'd be drinking it. <laughs> you can take your laptop, or you can leave your laptop in on pre-check. Yep. Obvi- I, that's why I got it. That's why I got it. That was the only reason I got it. Any liquids or gels? Yep. Not taking them out because you never ever catch those things. Like, <laughs> doesn't matter. So, so, what was in your bag? Did your heart like sink? It's yeah. th- my fucking microphone. Oh my, my god. My big ass microphone that I used to do my like individual one, my yeah. blue mic. Yeah. I take that now. I travel with it, so I like in case I want to do a podcast or whatever, a video. And every, I'm, now, I'm not, not doing that anymore because every single time they see it and they take it out and they're like, what's oh. this, a giant dildo? <laughs> oh, it's a bomb. What did they do? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the guy's like, hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, it, you yeah, get it back. Yeah, he, was like, he was like, what's, uh, what's this thing? Do you have a podcast or something? And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if he was just a fan? <laughs> he, yeah, yeah. he said you're bad. He, he looks around, he's like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I pulled you over here. Huge fan. <laughs> my name's Darren. How you doing? Fuck you. <laughs> Let me just go about my day. He's like, okay, okay, I will, I will. <laughs> we do an episode right now. <laughs> That's my deal to you. Right now, right here, right now. Like, are you fucking <laughs> serious? I had that happen one time in customs. No way. I swear to God, I pull up, I uh, I show the guy my passport and my, uh, this is to get back into the States. For me, it's fucking hard to get back in the States every time. Every time they look at my visa and they go, oh, because I have a, I have a, uh, it's called an extraordinary person visa. It's the visa you get for like acting and mm. entertainment. <laughs> That's not the correct know, it's not, ac- not accurate at all. <laughs> not accurate at all. But every time I come through, they look at it and they go, oh, so what do you do? And they ask me all these questions because it's like, I, it's like if you get stamped once, then I'm good, right? Just let me through. You would think. You would think, but every time it's a fucking nightmare. This one time I'm going back and I'm going through customs and the guy's like, wait a minute. Are you, are you, is your dad Greg? What? And I was like, yeah. He's what? like, I'm living in your house right now. What? I was like, dog, what's good? <laughs> what's really good? Say, what? What did you just say? He's like, yeah, man, I'm living. At the time, we were selling my old house that I'd grown up in. We were uh-huh. selling it. And uh, my parents had moved to a new place. I was, this was like only a couple years ago. So I've been, you know, away from home forever. And he was like, yeah. And so basically my parents couldn't sell my old house. So they just started renting it out. Got it. And the U.S. Customs, basically they'll fly people because uh, the U.S. Customs in Calgary is in Calgary. So they'll just like uh, contract U.S. border agents uh, to work in Calgary for like months at a time. Got and it. And they'll just rent out houses for them. Huh. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'm living in your house right now. I was like, that's crazy. He's like, yeah, my son's playing with your Xbox. I was like, tell your son. Get the fuck get off. The fuck <laughs> away from my Xbox. Back. <laughs> yeah. I'm living in your house right now. Mom, dad, Mom? what uh, are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> What's get, going on? <laughs> get that fucking kid away from my Xbox. How about that? Yeah. I was like, dude, this is cool and all, and it's like a crazy coincidence. <laughs> Just can you let me into the States, yeah. please? Because <laughs> even, though, even though this is a funny conversation, you're still a border agent. I just want to get, get into the, the country. Here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> just want to get into the country, and I'm about to miss my flight. So why don't we just make that happen, dude? It, flying, Air, flying just fucking sucks, man. I'm just ready to be just never. I'm ready yo, to be private, done flying. Private. I, I know. Private. We got to get rich enough to fly private. Yeah, it's the only way. You know, you can take those private jets to Vegas for like 200 bucks. Yeah, those are pretty. Those seem pretty dope. Jet X, whatever. Right up. Yep. They weigh your bag. That's all they do. Make sure you're not too heavy. To like. Bring the plane down or something. Dude, they, one of the companies, I was at one of the, like, launch breakfasts or something, and they were like, we'll have you in Vegas before you get on the plane at LAX. Wow. <laughs> and we did. They took us up. You just drive straight into the parking lot. You park your car, get off, you get straight onto the jet, and you just go. That's Ten what, minutes later. That's what it should be. And then they have, like, beautiful service on board. Really? Oh, my God. Champagne. Oh, wow. Oh I didn't God. think they did anything. Yeah. Champagne. The thing, dude. I, I think we do that. Yeah. Let's go to Vegas, Labor Day weekend, and let's do that. It's worth it to me, yeah. Anyways, donate to my Patreon, please. <laughs> uh, Noel's fund me. Yeah, donate to my film, please. <laughs> GoFundMe.com slash Sydney-Film. I'm going to set something up. Cody's going to throw it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marcus, you're going to make that, something? Smash that record. Bang. Dude, why does your camera turn off every five fucking seconds? Because it's from, it's from fucking, it's like eight years old. True. True. <laughs> 
great. Okay, so what are, no, what are we going to do when North Korea shoots a missile at us? That's what I've written I mean, down. Okay, well, I mean, I've already gone into this at length. But okay, what? Have you? Have you? Yeah. For what? And where? That fucking video I did. I, that one just went right under the radar. Okay. I did like Wait, some, the video that you did and deleted? No, no, no. I posted one called World War Meme. Oh, right, right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I don't know, dude. I think they're, the best they're going to do is hit Alaska. You think so? No, yeah. they're coming for us. They've said they're coming for us. LA? Yeah. Wow, we just Damn. said, wow, that was fucking jinx. <laughs> jinx. You owe me a soda. Like, coffee. why would they, if they could, why would they hit Alaska just to do it? Like, this is where everyone on the West Coast is. Los Angeles. Nah, I mean, yeah, that'd be a good way to commit terror, you know. Ah, uh, fear us. But. Yeah, I think we, we gotta have the technology to shoot that shit down. I mean, we do, but it's never been tested. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, true. Because we've never had to shoot anything down. Yeah. Were, you, were you guys here when that big, like, <clears throat> intercontinental missile was flying up and down the yep. coast. Yep. And it was just like, people were like, do we have the technology? Yeah. <laughs> because it was just up there forever. <laughs> wait, 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 when was this? It, like, didn't the Navy said like immediately, like this is not us testing. And then they, re- they amended it and said like, we were testing an intercontinental, in an intercontinental missile. Yeah. They're this was like two years ago. Yeah. They're testing like an ICBM or something. Look huh. up pictures of it. It looks like Haley's Comet or something. Just yeah. like going through the sky, but it's moving. Yeah. It's huge. And it's like, Fuck it's like that. It's crazy. Yeah. So that's what it would be coming at us. This crazy big white yeah. thing in the sky. Oh, I hope to God that doesn't happen. I mean, you can, if it happens, I mean, you just got to cross your fingers. You just got to cross your fingers that, that it doesn't happen? Or no, that no, that, that when it hits, like the radius doesn't get to you. Yeah. Like I'm hoping they target downtown. Okay. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of big buildings No, it's there. like a nuclear bomb, it, I isn't think it? No, it's it, no. it, 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 incinerate all of fucking no, the West Coast? No, it's not like a 20-mile fucking okay, like, okay, fallout okay. and shit. Okay. Nice I think it would get all of us. That's the whole point, right? Wouldn't and it like ICBM? cover LA? No, it wouldn't hit all of LA. They blow it up in the air. It doesn't hit the ground, and it like covers. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. No, yeah, it hits. Tw- it can hit like up to twenty individual targets. So yeah, probably take us. Why all would up. they do that? Why are they working on it? We I got don't no know. beef with North Korea, man. I mean, <laughs> I thought. I thought. Yeah, fucking, well, I thought. What's his face? Uh, uh, Dennis Rodman went over there and made everything good. No, no. Didn't he go over no. there and just fix everything? No. He played some basketball and then came back because they love basketball. <laughs> Dude, have you ever looked at like North Korean like folk tales? They're hilarious. No, they talk about like. Uh, Kim Il Sung, like the original, like dad, like being in the NBA and like dunking on like, over a gold bird and like weird shit like that. It's super funny, but it's a it's a it's a pissing contest. Like each leader has to prove that he's about it more mm-hmm. and more about it. Yeah, <laughs> that so, he's really about that. that life. He's really about that life. So like <laughs> the first two, like they set up the dictatorship, they starved people. They're like, oh, I mean, this motherfucker's ruthless. And they got to the kid. And they're like, I, you know, you guys have been saying you're going to blow some shit up for 20 years. When's it going to happen? So he's like, all right, bring out that ICBM. We're going to fuck some shit up. So like, I'm really about that life. I'm worried about his son. His son is going to be like, all right, nuke, I guess. Like, he'll do it against his will. He'll yeah. be shitting yeah, crying. Well, okay, World War Three. Yep. Let's, Let's make it happen. Let's do it. Yeah. I don't know, man. But here's the thing. I don't think you're really about that life. I, I am. I am. No, I, I am. am. <laughs> Where the? <laughs> Another boom, nukes. There we go. Look at that. Who's not about that life now? It all depends on where they get that technology. Because I think they buy like old Russian missiles and like, so all their shit looks like it's from fucking 1970. So they might have an ICBM, but there's no telling that halfway through like the fucking, yeah, the screws start coming out. (laughs) There's probably a guy riding it, making sure it's going to come all the way there. (laughs) Just look at the saddle and a fucking oxygen tank. I was thinking like (laughs) airplane (laughs) goggles. With a scarf. (laughs) (laughs) Just riding it like... It's, it's falling apart. Like <laughs> so cold. <laughs> he's, he's wearing like a you know like the do raggy like airplane yeah, hats. Yeah. Flapping leather back here. Yeah, leather. <laughs> Freezing yeah. fucking cold. We it's just falling apart. It's falling apart. Bags, nuts and bolts are just popping out. Put them back in. Start to hammer that shit. Some fucking wily coyote operation. Oh my god, dude, that's totally what it's gonna be. It's like it's not gonna be this. It's not gonna be this polished first world fucking beautiful like those Moabs I was tweeting about. Oh my god, dude, West Coast Customs got on those fucking. The fucking candy paint on those shits were clean. You put those colors on a Cadillac, you're going to win a fucking car show. That shit looked like Post Malone's car. Yeah, I know. It was so fire. Holy shit. What if they do that for Kim Jong-un? They're like, they come in, they show the missile, and they're like, but wait, check this out. (laughs) And we heard you like like basketball. So we added a basketball court inside the Moab. (laughs) No way. (laughs) Pimp my Moab? Holy shit. 
What? <laughs> Fucking, they bring back. They, they, <laughs> like, it's a fish tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do the before and after. You know, at the end when they do the before and after, he's like standing next to his piece of junk, and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> We about to blow up the West Coast with this shit. <laughs> blow up West Coast. Coast it is your man X to the Z, and today we pimping out the Moab for goddamn Kim Jong Un. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you want to send this shit over the water, so we put a fucking life raft in the middle of it, so you can sit in the life raft while you watch it go over to fucking hit LA. <laughs> <laughs> We're just sending this intercontinental. <laughs> <laughs> we put a surfboard right on it. <laughs> we put a we put a surf wave machine in it so you can surf while you surfing. I don't even. <laughs> oh I'm losing it. Holy crap, dude! Oh my god! Candy painted Moab, bro. Holy fucking this shit. shits were fire, man. The I, the, or, the orange on the U.S. one was dope. I didn't I, see it. Is there, they had one that was orange and one that was green. Damn! Did you just take? There's a, a whole crumb? cookie left. You just I just took a cookie of crumbs because he knows. I'm like, I'm like, oh, you're taking that. Watch the eyes, rude. Watch the eyes. Watch the eyes. It's like you know <laughs> that <laughs> last. You know, you know that last. Like when you're eating dinner and you get like an appetizer and you know there's four people and it comes with three, or maybe actually no, there's four people and it comes with five. Yes. So everyone gets one. And there's that last one and everyone's like, everyone's like, no, like with their eyes, you know, you did. No, it's fine. Everyone's like mm-hmm. staring at it. You can tell everyone fucking wants it, and then one person has the balls just to be like. Mm, and just stick it in their mouth and the other people are like fuck fuck man I should have done that yeah. I should have had the balls to clap not, the last one. not splitting the check <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking comedian um, <clears throat> I'm still laughing from that shit uh, <laughs> it's fucking PK comedy he talks about how in Asian culture like that's a problem like they can never get a bill paid because it's always like no I'll pay no I'll pay or like with food it'll never get finished because they keep splitting it and sharing it. And it gets down to this last piece that cannot be split, so no one wants to be rude. <laughs> He's like, I fucking, Americans are fucking shitty because you're like, you know, we do the same custom. I'm like, no, you have it. And Americans go, okay. <laughs> <You> just fucking <laughs> take it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sounds about right. It's so true. Dude. So when are we getting in the studio? Fuck, I, I really want to get This one. week. Let's do it. Yeah. This week. Yeah, just boom, lock up the studio. Oh, new song? or Yeah. Oh, 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 I thought you meant like uh, office. <laughs> No, 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 studio. We don't, yeah, when, yeah. Are we getting a, when are we getting in the booth? Yeah, let's get in the, yeah, let's get in the studio this week. Yeah. What, what do you guys have planned? What's next? You I'll know what? I'm listen, thinking. you should leak a track list. Track list? Just well, leak we got it no for track like 10 list. songs okay. that yeah. don't exist. Yeah. Uh, number one, uh, 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 Queef. That's the queef, first song yeah, on the queef. track list. We finna Queef, yeah. Do some interludes. Queef, Can I do yeah. the interludes with you guys? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You can do the skits. Like you know what? We'll skits. Yeah. Well, skits. The shit that nobody listens to on an album. Bro, yeah, I miss those though. Why? They're, they were great. There are some skits, dude, that like, there's one <clears> fucking, um, you ever heard of a group called Helta Skelta? Probably not. No. No. East Coast rap group, whatever. They got this, this dude, Sean Price, and this other dude named Rock. They got a sketch where they're talking about a Snickers bar. <laughs> it's just like, yo, don't never eat a Snickers bar, B. That shit look like my dick, God. I don't never, ever want to see you eating a Snickers bar, son. And they're just talking about how they don't want to oh see the gosh. homies eat a Snickers bar. Dude, that shit, the first time I hit it, I was rolling. <laughs> that is like, it's just, just like a stand-up bit right in the middle of this fucking album. I was crying. And I never ate a Snickers bar after that. <laughs> <laughs> they're great. They're yeah. great. They, they're like, it splits up the songs. Yeah. It's something hilarious, usually. Yeah. It's not, though. Did, like, it, doesn't the new like Logic album have a bunch of fucking skits in it? No, what's I, the one that has a bunch of skits it. in it that came out recently? Rap album. Ah, oh, forget. Um, it's just shitty. Like, ruins the flow. You just gotta well, they fucking... Have to be, they have to be good. Yeah, they're just like they're never good. They can't they can't just be like, you know, I'm in the studio talking on the phone. Like there has to be some they basically need a comedy writer. Yeah. 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 Which we are not. So does, doesn't Drake just do like his voice <laughs> Which we are not, so yeah. we will have no skits yeah, on we'll that. Yeah, we have no skits on that. Do you listen to the booty tapes? Uh no. <clears throat> it's no. good. Okay. I it's listen, really funny. I listen it's good. To some of that. Okay. It's good. All right. He's it's just like he's funny. Who's is that Ugly God. Ugly guy? Yeah, or ugly he's God. He's just fucking funny. No, I wanted to peep it. But yeah. He's just a funny dude. Like all of his raps are like just ridiculous and funny. I I kinda like that right now that rappers are like more of them are showing like their sense of humor. Yeah. Because it used to be like select rappers were known to be funny, but now like a lot of them like I think that's what's dope. Like not all rappers take themselves too seriously. Yeah. So Yeah, no, I agree. I think we should just like yeah. We need we need casual comedy rap. I think that's what we should yeah. do. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> All the tags we get on Twitter, like, uh, yeah, hey, uh, hey, I'm not freestyling. It's a beat. Hey, 
I'm not freestyling either. Yeah. <laughs> I added a little 808. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't have a kick drum right now, but. Show me your booty cheeks. No. Freestyle a little bit. No. It ain't happening. What? No. Hey. 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 Good. Hey. 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 In the kitchen, yeah. I'm really sad. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I'm not going to make it, and I'm very sad about life. Um, well, I got dark. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Wait, <laughs> I was thinking on the way over here, this could be funny or it could be really bad, but we should try it. <clears throat> Fucking Marcus is like the best, I think, programmer out of all of us right now. I was thinking Marcus should conjure up like a funny ass code test <laughs> and then we take it and obviously we're going to fucking suck right now. No, not right now. Okay, just okay. Like as a bit. <laughs> That's and then, funny. So Marcus, but the, the questions and the problems kind of have to be funny. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, um, how would you blur your own dick pic? Something like that. Like just something real, real tough or, you know, whatever. And I thought that just could be really funny. I can put it together. Yeah. Yeah. Either that or we do the thing we always talked about doing, <clears throat> setting a timer for an hour, like either get super drunk or super high or whatever. And then just try to make an app in an Oh, hour yeah. And that, film the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whole thing. I still want to do just that. just fucking fail <laughs> yeah, miserably. Just do it so bad. Yeah. What we need to we do. We can do it like an episode of the podcast or something where we do that. <laughs> just, <laughs> no, well, we, we need to do that. But we also need to have the asides where like one person steps out of the room and the camera's on it. And we like like cross-eyed like explain like our like, <laughs> <laughs> overarching motive for the app or something. And we All really right. think this is going to bring the world together. All right. So I really think this is going to fix the issue of like needing to pee with one hand. So this is how it's going to work. <laughs> Basically, you're going to put the phone down. It's going to give you a target that you can pee. <laughs> Two in the urinal. It's gonna be really awesome. <laughs> Just entrepreneur, drunk entrepreneurship. <laughs> I love that. We're, we got oh, now. Your other camera stopped. This is just like the jankiest fucking yep. operation ever. It's bootleg. You seen this motherfucker on YouTube that like does the longest videos ever? Like he'll like read every word in the dictionary. And yeah. Like, he'll, like yeah. He does a shit ton of them. Yeah. He watched. Um. He watched. It's every day, bro. For like like 18 hours or something what? insane and film the whole thing. Watch it over and over and over again. How many people watch this stuff? Dude. A million, he gets like millions of views. What? Yeah. His ad rev must be insane. I know. He just puts 4,000 ads to the just, whole thing. He just fucking went to like the highest degree. He's like, oh, you guys want watch time? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, What's bitch. up, guys? I'm going to be peeing for 23 days. <laughs> How that? I would watch that. That's yeah. impressive. I would pee <laughs> I'd for skip 23 days. <laughs> <laughs> I'd skip through that. Maybe it's gonna, maybe something different will happen. I don't know. He does that shit. It's insane. Like, it's, it's just... How it, he's he's the kid who like... Fucking mental torture. He counted to like a million or whatever, Yes, right? that yeah. kid. Oh, my God. When did YouTube do that? They upped their like time limit. That was like a couple of years ago, right? I think mm -hmm. so, yeah. Because then all the like... put like infinite videos on there. It's crazy. Wait, have you ever... Dude, maybe this is just me. When I was a kid, you know, when I was like learning about numbers and they tell me about numbers like a million or a hundred thousand and like... I'm like, has anyone ever counted to this before? Like, who was the first person to get there? You know what I'm saying? Like, who who was that? And then it's like an on the spectrum thought. <laughs> oh, totally. A little yeah. bit. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm completely there. Yeah, but how do you know this number's not real? Yeah. Yeah. If no one's ever counted to yeah. it. Yeah. And then <laughs> is it really there? Is it really there? Is it really not? Then I always had this weird like fantasy of calculating how much time it would take to count to that number. I'm like, well, if you if I wouldn't leave this right. So the fact that I saw someone do it i'm like thank you it like satisfied a part of my childhood i'm like finally someone did it wow <laughs> it's a big exhale <sighs> yeah just oh <sighs> thank <laughs> fucking god thank you watched god. the whole you watched the whole yeah, thing i'm like oh, <laughs> oh lord oh that was such a weight least. off my back <laughs> plagued, plagued me while i was growing up <laughs> why has no one counted to 10 million yeah someone's got to do it but <laughs> but 10 million who's gonna one? do the what who's gonna do the what here this can't just be a number that we've never tested before how do we know? Oh. Yeah. My fucking face hurts. We can maybe we have to wrap this up. My face hurts from laughing. Yeah, I'm, I've been chuckling. Uh, um, what are we at? We're only at an hour. Oh, let's rock another five. Yeah, you want to rock another five? Another what are we going to talk about? I don't know, man. Do it. Let's keep going. Uh, we could talk about... Um, you, got? You, got you know place? what I was watching the other day? <clears throat> Love Island. I sent no yesterday. <laughs> no, actually. I fucking finished. I like just... I'm like done with that show. Ah... I watched half the season. Someone ruined it for me, and now I have no desire to continue. Interesting. Wait, can I tell you something that's been ruined for me? Nah. Vi okay. It's happening. It's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Cheers, e e I'm yeah. just fucking around. Yeah, my Uber's here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't get this. Cheers. <laughs> my Uber's here. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I got a jet. It's been real. Yeah. Good to see you, dude. <laughs> for sure. Super real. Yeah, don't worry um, about it. Oh, my <laughs> God. Gosh, <laughs> damn. For that. God. Fuck. I just got rejected. Uh, no, anyway, sorry. 
video, video really games, good. bro. Why? What? Completely ruined. Yeah, fucking right. No, I swear. Oh, yeah. Swear. Oh, swear. It's, oh, swear. Really? No, swear. Really? Swear. On really? On I go over to your house. If I show up at your house tonight at, at, at midnight, nope. I can guarantee you you're going to be faded as fuck no. playing Overwatch. No. <laughs> you know what Noel does? Is he'll play Overwatch too fucking much for, T-Rex. <laughs> for one day. He'll delete it from his PlayStation so that if he wants to play it again, <laughs> he has to re-down the whole thing and yes. all the updates, and then he can play it. So it... Yes. He inevitably ends up doing it every day, and it just takes three hours, three yeah, hours longer. God. No, 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 no. So what's terrible is they like they open up the pipe when you download the app. So it's like a ten gig whatever. So my fucking my down speed on my internet is amazing. Okay. So I'll like be wor- I'll be cutting a video, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll just download it in the background. It's, you know, whatever. I'll play it when it's done, and it'll be like, bing, done. I'm like, well, see, that was supposed to happen an hour from now. Now I have to fucking play, but. <laughs> I swear to God, it's, it's been ruined. Why has it been ruined? Why? Here, it described. Do you want to know the cerveza? I do. Okay, good. Oh, you want nice. a cerveza? Huh? You want a cerveza? What's that? Donde? Is that? Donde? <laughs> Don, no. In the fridge. Uh, you don't no. want it? No. Cheers, no. bro. No, sir. Muchas gracias. For sure, yeah. <laughs> he didn't just cheers me. How is it ruined for you? Um, That's such a sweeping thing to say about video games. No, on, dude, okay. So I played all the fucking rage inducing formats of video games. Mm hmm. So, I just like it was like a couple of days ago. I was playing and I was getting really fucking frustrated. I'm like, why? Why do I play this? Like, why do you do something to get angry? And I just that it just turned me off from it like permanently. That like inevitably happens when you're playing multiplayer online because uh-huh. there's always a level you just can't get past. Yeah, there's always somebody who takes it so seriously that they're yep. way better. Yeah. Well, and I was telling Cody about this. Like, I can't really flesh a fucking full premise over this, but it's just like it. <laughs> To be playing that and then have a 13 year old like yelling at me, like trying to manage what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm a fucking grown person. I don't need this shit. So like I mute Yeah, him. I have a podcast. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a grown man. I have a podcast. <laughs> I don't even have a podcast. I go on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'm a YouTuber. You do not need to yell at me this way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Skinny penis wine. Cheers, You're cheers, welcome. Bro. I yeah. think we're getting too old for video games. I'll we're say it. definitely too I'll old say for it. video We've games. Been too we old. just were talking about getting a Nintendo Switch. That's different, mm. though. That was that fucking different. That's way more juvenile. No, it's what so we can play Zelda. Well, I mean, how was that? I was thinking that? like Mario Kart shit like that. That's casual okay, shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what we we were at the other day, uh, like pre gaming or something, and we were like, God, I wish we had fucking Mario Party. Yeah. Did you? No, we oh, didn't. Like on it. GameCube, Mario Party. Oh, oh hell so yeah. It was the best. Like social setting game where yep. you can just fucking sit down that game play it with like five mm-hmm. people drink a beer it's <laughs> so much fun yo so much fucking fun i saw this video on reddit i was fucking crying it was a bunch of dudes playing mario party and the title of the video is what are the odds so it's like all these dudes in a room and you hear some guy like oh uh, okay fucking you need 10 you need you need to hit a 10 it's the last turn of the game dude hits a 10 everyone's like oh he gets he lands on like this um it's like a fucking one of those mini games okay. where it could like totally change the outcome of the game. So okay. he lands on it. Then you get to the thing, and uh, one of the one of the rare options is like it'll it'll reverse two people's positions. So it'll like swap all the stars, all the coins. Oh whatever. yeah. So it was like this dude right before all that was happening. He was like, "There's literally no way I can lose." So he fucking he lands on the space. Then everyone's like, "Reversal, reversal!" He hits it. The whole fucking room just like. Ah! <laughs> I could hear the guy who said, there's no way I could lose. I could just hear him dying inside. He didn't say a word. He's just like, oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> that was the best game, man. Yeah. That game is super fun. It oh. ruined everyone's controller. <laughs> yeah, just like, the fucking... <laughs> oh, your, yeah. Like, after that, you're just like, your joystick just kind of like went <laughs> on the side. <laughs> It's like oh. a broken dick. Yeah, just, just like fucking. Bing. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> 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 you need fucking Viagra for your controller. <laughs> You're just faded. He'll be up in a second. <laughs> do you, you guys hear that they're doing an N64 classic? There's rumors. No, they're do an N64 I did. Classic. I did hear that. Yeah. That's going to be great. Buy the fuck out of that. This is yeah. all Nintendo oh, yeah. needed instant, to do. Instant, instant yep. buy. Yeah. Instant so purchase. Easy. 100%. Yep. Are we going to get Zelda when we get the Switch? I think you have to, right? Yeah. What else is there for that? I don't console? know. I don't know. Yeah, there better be more shit, though. I'm, I'm kind of stoked on it. I was watching, like when it first came out, I was watching videos and shit and it felt like I was a child again. Everyone like says it's dope. Really? Like I've, you know, all kinds of people are like, the Switch is fire. Really? Yeah, all That's kinds great. of people. Fuck. Yeah, gamers, non-gamers. That's dope. So. Yo, let's talk about the fucking trailer you made. Okay. The last time we were on the podcast, oh, yeah. you were like, I'm going to cut a trailer, a horror trailer. Did you see it? No. Oh, for, it's for so Jake good, Paul. dude. <laughs> for, for, he was like, I'm going to go through all the Team 10 vlog footage and cut together like a horror trailer. <sighs> 
and yeah. uh, and everyone like all the comments, everyone like tweeting Noel like do it, do it, you have to do it, you have to do it, and then right. you fucking I did it. Did you did post it? it? Yeah. yeah, it's so good. I see it right now. It's so good. It's so fucking good. Yeah. Oh yeah, God. we can play. We can That's, play. Right you hear now, that? It's North Korea right there. <laughs> uh, let's watch it after because okay. we can't like do the fucking video or whatever. But yep. you guys watch that. People who are listening, go back and go to Noel's channel. It's on his channel. <laughs> yeah, it's up there, man. It's fucking hilarious. And the thing, the funniest part about it is that like you like the the footage just makes it like the yeah. footage itself is scary yeah all it I, is all i did was i just colored it dark mm -hmm. because that's the thing jake paul's vlogs like they're obviously they're colored very bright so i just changed the color tone a little bit and, and then uh, added a vignette did you just yeah some parts yeah. put a vignette like that hyper focus and just like you know obviously i'm like dramatizing some of the shit he's doing but it's just like it is creepy to live in that environment though is fucking crazy and and so a lot of people were like oh my god how many hours of footage did you go through honestly i didn't have to go through that much i would just look at the title and i would skip through and you could find almost just any point you drop in on the vlog something weird is happening and how uncomfortable all of their conversations are is fucking crazy when i watch it like i watch some other team 10 vlogs of guys just making content they're like all 18, but this part of them seems like they're dead inside. Like it's a very sad fucking thing. Like Ew, I got really man. depressed. Yeah. And like the two, the Martinez twins yeah. felt real bad for them. They get fucked with very hard. Really? Like, oh, you fuckers don't speak English. They say shit to them that they clearly don't understand. It's just like, this is bad. It's a bad situation. All of them should not be in that environment. It and, is a horror. Yeah. It's a fucking it, it horror. Do they all live together? Is that yeah. the scenario? Yeah. 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 Yep. And we're talking about Jake again. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. He's used to it. He doesn't care. Every time. Every fucking time. He fucking time. loves it. Who gives a shit? Oh, I actually have an idea for a video oh boy. that I want to do with you uh -oh. after this. Uh -oh. it'll, take, it'll take no time. 30 seconds? <laughs> no, longer than that. Okay. It'll be funny, though, I think. Oh, I think. Let's hope. Let's fucking hope. Ooh. Well, Let's fucking hope. Yeah, man. <clears throat> so, cool. Well, should we wrap it up? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Rock the other five. It's been super real. Very. It's been very real. Guys, uh... I think we're almost at a thousand reviews on iTunes. I think we're at like oh, nine. Come on, guys, get in there. Thing. Drop one in. Well, it's it's actually been crazy. Like we've been popping up. We've been staying like this podcast has like been thirty on the charts or something for like the last that's like, fucking wow. few weeks. Dope. Yeah, it's crazy. That's great. And people are people seem to be digging it. So if you like it, guys, leave a five star review. Let's let's just crank it past a thousand. That's all I want, and then I'll stop fucking asking. Yep. Yep. And uh, speaking of asking for things, donate to the Patreon. <laughs> patreoncom Co. Follow me at Cody Co. Uh, and follow the Twitter, yeah. At oh, yeah. insanely underscore chill. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you know I'm posting shit all yeah. over. You know, I don't know. And follow and donate to Noel's Suki film. Yes. You 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 plug your own shit. Yeah. Uh, donate to my film. It's gonna be dark comedy. It's gonna be fucking awesome. GoFundMe.com slash Suki dash film. Uh, I promise you, this is the hardest I'm gonna ever work on anything until my next movie. It's almost there. Two, almost there. Two thousand less than two thousand bucks. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's like twenty five hundred. But about okay, twenty five bucks. That's nothing. It's twenty three. Easy. I think, actually. Yeah. Twenty three hundred bucks. Um. Yeah. Throw a five on it. Throw some stripper money on it. Whatever. Yeah. So we can fly private to Vegas in a couple weeks. Yeah. You know, just not make a movie at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna make a movie. Please donate. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Marcus, anything you want to plug? Yeah, I don't have anything to plug at all, but my Uber's here. You can plug. Get Any new? Any cheers, new all right, cheers, guys! To a great podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there you all go, right, Marcus. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Love oh you guys. God. I don't know. Do I? <laughs>